Every year, over one million Americans develop sepsis, a life-threatening medical condition that arises when the body initiates a powerful immune response against an infection. Anyone can get sepsis, but two-thirds of all sepsis cases occur in people over 65. Sepsis is the tenth leading cause of death in the United States, and up to 40% of patients do not survive. Older adults, especially those over 85 or with chronic health conditions like heart disease and various types of cancer, are more likely to succumb to sepsis. However, early recognition of sepsis symptoms can save lives. Sepsis is caused by bacterial, viral, parasitic, or fungal microbial infections that trigger overwhelming inflammation and blood thickening. Normally, the blood's immune system targets invading microbes with a tempered response, However, in sepsis, the body overreacts, triggering a cascade of chemical messengers that cause inflammation within blood vessel linings. When this happens, small blood clots form, first at the site of infection and then throughout the body. Widespread inflammation and blood clotting impede oxygen and nutrient delivery to tissues and organs resulting in organ dysfunction. Sepsis may begin in an organ, like the lungs or kidney, or be introduced through an open sore, surgical incision, or invasive medical device like a urinary catheter or feeding tube. Common symptoms of sepsis include fever, rapid heart rate, and rapid breathing. The organ affected by the infection often dictates the other signs and symptoms of sepsis. For example, if the lung is the primary site of infection, as in pneumonia, the person may experience fever coupled with shortness of breath, painful coughing, and discolored mucus. Not all infections develop into sepsis. However, progression from a localized infection to full-blown sepsis can occur within mere hours. Therefore, it is important to swiftly recognize the signs and symptoms of an infection that's out of control. When an older person becomes septic, fever may be absent. In fact, the opposite can occur with the development of a cold, clammy skin temperature known as hypothermia. Older patients are also more likely to exhibit sudden mental confusion or delirium as a major part of their presenting signs, along with fatigue, malaise, weakness, sudden shortness of breath, poor appetite, chills, dizziness, and low blood pressure. When these symptoms occur, coupled with an infection, it is time to seek immediate medical attention. Older adults may be resistant to urgent medical care, so timely medical treatment is imperative to increase survival since for every hour delay in appropriate treatment, the risk of death increases by 8%. Sepsis treatment may involve hospitalization and admission to the Intensive Care Unit, ICU. The sepsis hospitalization rate for those over 85 is about 30 times higher than the rate for people less than 65. It is also more than four times higher than the rate for those between 65 and 74. Older adults admitted to the ICU for sepsis are generally sicker, require longer lengths of stay, and may experience significant long-term cognitive impairment and physical limitations. To limit sepsis-causing infections, seniors, their loved ones, and caregivers should receive flu and pneumonia vaccinations and practice good hand-washing and good personal hygiene. Wound dressing and nursing care should use sterile techniques whenever feasible. Sepsis is common, deadly, and costly. It affects older Americans in disproportionate numbers. Weakened immunity, recent surgery, skin ulcerations, and chronic diseases such as diabetes, cancer, autoimmune disorders, or malnutrition make seniors more vulnerable to sepsis. To help reduce sepsis deaths in seniors, practice preventative strategies that reduce the spread of germs. Know the signs of sepsis and seek early treatment. Together, we can save lives.